Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. It's been two weeks since the last episode of Batwoman. And when she appeared on our screens last time, as you can see, there seemed to be something a little bit odd about the ratings. Not only did it go up, <laughs> and by Batwoman standards, quite a bit, but the demographic seem completely off as well because it posted the best demographic of the whole season beating even episode one and that of course is when javicia leslie made her debut it didn't appear to make any sense whatsoever the episode in question surprise surprise was just another garbage tier entry into this absolutely dour franchise and so it kind of led to the fact that something went wrong either and let's just be generous here something went wrong in terms of the reporting of the ratings or i don't know let's not be generous something felt a little bit suspicious now Call me a prophet if you want. <laughs> Been called worse, I'll tell you that for nothing. But I said, I think this is an anomaly. And when the show returns, I got a feeling that the next time it airs, it's going to post probably some of the lowest ratings it's ever done, if not the lowest. I might have added the last bit on. I hope that I did say that in the last video. Well, folks. Oh, oh my God. Not only has Batwoman posted the lowest ratings of the season so far. And can I just say, with now the knowledge that there is going to be more than 13 episodes this season, there's going to be at least 18 episodes this season but it is now dipped not just the pinky toe under 400k it's gone quite a bit under 400k to 0.381 now i thought this series had a chance to dip into the 300s this season based off the absolute trash that it had been posting out but my goodness it's doing it in spectacular fashion and with what six more episodes to go oh heaven help me there is room for further descent you can also see that the preliminary because these are the preliminary so they are going to be adjusted it might be adjusted up slightly it might even be adjusted down slightly I've got a feeling, again, a little tinkle winkle in my... I think I just need a wee, actually. Uh, but i got a feeling that they're going to be adjusted just a little bit. Just a little bit up. Maybe uh, point zero, zero <laughs> five at best, I think. Uh, but the demographic dropping down to what it naturally has been that 0.17 wasn't natural whatsoever it's been hovering around the 0.10 the 0.11 since episode four onwards of this season and so it's back down on the preliminary demos to 0 0.10 oh my goodness if you've seen my review from earlier today uh the the latest episode was absolute garbage complete garbage with one little ray of sunlight and that was the fight between uh javicia leslie's batwoman and kate kane's new member of the false face society brainwashed hypnotized um kate kane uh, where Kate Kane just absolutely kicked her ass. Uh, the choreography wasn't actually bad. It was a pretty decent fight, I thought. That was the only saving grace uh, of what was a just a path 
pathetic episode. And I mean pathetic in terms of uh, the way that it was written, uh, the way that it was structured, the unmitigated laziness uh, that the writers had fallen to, where they couldn't even be bothered in any way, shape or form uh, to make what was going on exciting for the viewer. And I know, I know that there's the whole coof thing going on when they would have been filming this, but that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse for the absolute lack of dynamicism uh, in the episode, the lack of any thought uh, put into how they could tackle uh, certain aspects of the show. But again, you got to go watch my uh, review uh, to go through all of those details. But to dip ratings wise, uh, waiting ratings wise, which is easy for me to say, uh, to a preliminary point three eight one. Oh my goodness me. Now, if we compare that to the lowest rating that the show has had, which I believe is the 0.435. Yeah, it's 50,000. 50,000 worse than the previous worst which we were laughing our asses about just a few weeks ago and it seemed inevitable after that that the show was going to plunge to these new lows but we had to wait we had to go through an anomalous situation a weird situation a dodgy situation uh, for that to happen it's everything that the show deserves and with more episodes on the way, plus a third season. Oh my God. Even the higher ups at the CW now must be absolutely panicking about what to do with this show. Because if this falls any further, when it returns for season three, it ain't, it ain't getting better. It isn't getting any better the show would have to go through some absolutely catastrophic changes catastrophic i know i mean probably wonderful changes they would have to fire caroline dries they would have to fire the writer's room they would have to complete and utterly revamp the show uh, for it to draw any interest and because they have tanked the show there's even no guarantee that that switch up would do anything there really isn't there's no guarantee that getting rid of caroline dries's pathetic tenure at the uh top here the absolute garbage tier uh writer's room who don't understand what a hero is to save their life the fact that this whole series has no arc there is no story arc this season the story arc uh, has, has been is kate alive we know she is they now think she's dead it's not an interesting arc roman sionis is dealing drugs well that's just come to the forefront a few weeks ago and that's it javicia leslie's girlfriend on and off girlfriend drug dealer maker of drugs who she didn't, didn't give a toss about doing that work as long as she got her end away no because she didn't care this whole season again has been about a selfish protagonist doing whatever she wants to do getting what she wants by utilizing the suit not helping anyone in gotham city whatsoever apart from herself and then us being told, told by the writers that she's a hero, that she's going out there saving Gotham, but we don't see it. We don't see it. All we see is a selfish bitch with a dumb crew of people doing dumb stuff. What they've done with Dugray Scott, turning him to a drug addict, dumb. Sophie, not doing 
anything this season whatsoever. Mary, just a joke of a character, trying to play the moral high ground for having an unlicensed medical clinic where she is unqualified to actually uh, help people and admitted in this episode that her, her, her place wasn't even up to code when it was open before. So we don't know all manner of abuses which would have been uh, perpetrated at that place. And then, of course, Luke Fox. And what does Luke do? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. He sits by the back computer and acts like the good soy boy that he is. I.e. does nothing whatsoever. These characters are pathetic. They're not interesting. They're not fun. They're not exciting. Their stories are going nowhere. They're going nowhere. And it's reflected now in the ratings, which are going so far into the Mariana Trench now, I think we're journeying to the center of the earth. So there we go, folks. Batwoman posts unbelievable new low. Uh, and with at least six episodes to come, it could, it could even get worse. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.